Hi, uh, welcome. In my series in computer science, I am starting a new course uh, about learning to program in the C programming language. I have a parallel series in science as well as Python going on, but I received a lot of requests from engineering students back home in India that they would like to learn either Java or C, which will help them in their in their technical interviews. So I'm starting a new series about C. C is a very low level language. What that means is that it runs very close to the hardware of the computer. Uh, C, in a computer there is, there is the transistors and the chips, on top of which there is the operating system, and on top of which is C. C runs very close to the low, C is basically a low level language, runs very close to the hardware, which makes the programs, uh, C programs run very fast they run uh, very they run as almost as fast as the hardware permits uh, which is which is go very good uh, but c programs can be very long and hard to debug and uh, you, you the programmer has a lot of power in the c language and of course with great power comes great responsibility a programmer could abuse that power and and it may be hard to de debug what is going wrong in the program. Uh, C as a language is not too big. Uh, its specification itself is very small when compared to other programming languages such as Java. It does not have object oriented uh, capability. Uh, and in this uh, course we will follow the book the C programming language which was written by Cunningham and Ritchie. Uh, in 19 the book was published I think in 1988 Dennis Ritchie is also the author of the C programming language and this is a very excellent book and it is open source you can download the book from the link that I have provided on my website the course is not this is not a course about algorithms the programs that we will write will be rather simple the focus is actually on learning the syntax of C as well as learning the uh, basic ideas as well as basic programs in C. Uh, in this first lecture, the, the course is composed of seven chapters. Each chapter will have about 10 lectures and it very closely follows the book. It is highly recommended that you download this free book and follow the course and, uh, and follow the reading assignments that I will provide at the end of every lecture as well as do the homework problems. Uh, so in this lecture, let's set up the programming environment. It is highly recommended that you uh, write code alongside myself and uh, that's the best way to learn programming is by writing code. So if you're on Windows, uh, you can install MinGW, which is minimalist GNU for Windows. You can download the exe from this link uh, it will give you the exe file. You can then download it and double click on the exe to install it. Uh, GCC is the C compiler, which will you will use to compile the programs written in C. Uh, you can once installed, you can check whether it has been installed correctly or not by opening the terminal. To open the terminal, you can go to the right, uh, le sorry, left hand corner, and then uh, open up the terminal by going onto the start and type GCC. If it gives you some an error like this, fatal error, no input files, compilation terminated, that means that program has been successfully installed. If it says that I cannot recognize GCC, GCC is an unrecognized program, then it has not been installed. Uh, on a MacBook, GCC can be installed either by downloading Xcode or you can install command line tools. Uh, read this. Xcode is a large project and I only recommend to download it if you have good internet connection otherwise command line tools should suffice the older versions of Mac operating system I believe uh, have the command line tools either ways uh, it, it should be rather straightforward uh, if these instructions do not help look on the internet you should be able to install GCC on your MacBook it should not be hard uh, to check whether it has been installed correctly, you can just type which GCC on terminal and it should give you something like this. I have a MacBook and I can run which GCC and it tells me that okay, 
there is a program installed in slash user slash main slash gcc if you are on a linux environment then gcc should come installed you should not have to do anything you can test it by typing the same command with gcc you should get the output let's write a sample program to make sure that our programming environments are set up correctly uh, the program is a simple C program which outputs hello world uh, it was the recommendation of Dennis Ritchie and uh, Cunningham that every when you're learning a programming language try to write the first program as hello world with a little output hello world so that's the advice of the wise that we will follow so open a new file called hello.c and then write the first line as include the standard library we will go through this program in great detail in the next lecture but for now let's just type out the program main function parenthesis open and then print a hello world new line character semicolon and then get car get car is technically not needed i only uh, put it there because otherwise what will happen is that when you run the program especially on a Windows machine the output will appear and then it will go away immediately and so you will not be able to tell whether your program worked or not so if you are not on a Windows machine you can feel free to skip get car either ways once you have written the program the next step is to compile the program so go to the directory in which hello.c is located and compile the program by typing gcc hello.c what it will do is that it will create a file called a.out which now exists and if I type dot slash a.out it will of course you I will see the output as hello world and now it is waiting on get character it is waiting for me to type a character I put enter and the program exits does that make sense if I had skipped get card then the program will type out hello world and simply exist let me compile it and let me run it again and see it prints hello world and doesn't stop for me and exits so that was the purpose of it anyways getting back so this is your first C program congratulate yourself if you have that working then you are set up for the course we will work. you are set up to do the exercises as well as follow me in this course uh, in this course I will rely very heavily on the C programming language book which you can again download from this link um, the chapters are taken as it is from this book the book also has seven chapters which I will closely follow and in fact the lectures will closely follow the sections in this book we will cover the basic programs in C and uh, will we will write get a basic feel for the language so basically the chapters are organized as follows in chapter one we'll get the basic feel of the C what are the cover the various flavors and the things C has to offer such as for loop arrays and functions chapter 2 will talk about expressions and type operators chapter 3 we will talk about control flow which is for statement if statement etc this will be followed by functions in chapter 4 in chapter 5 we will discuss pointers and arrays chapter 6 will discuss structures which are structs and then lastly we will discuss in chapter 7 which is the last chapter inputs and outputs so it is my hope that this introductory course will help you learn the basics of programming in C very well and that you can then tackle more advanced concepts and programs easily later. So let's get started. Bye.